Welcome to Summit Awesome Games, good looking people, I am Rob. Today we're looking at Apex Legends' best guns in the game. If you pick up any of these guns, you're gonna wanna keep them. Starting off with a shotgun, we have the EVA-8. 63 damage on a body shot, 90 damage on a headshot. It fires very fast. This is an automatic shotgun. You can put someone down from full armor and full health in a second. Just firing really fast. And it's got very good accuracy. It drops off at range, but up close, this is the best shotgun you can get. Until we cover the last one. Moving on to our next gun, we are going with the R301. A very accurate gun. It does 14 damage on a body shot, 28 damage on a headshot. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it fires really fast. So you can take out someone from full health to zero in a split second. You can take someone down from full armor to zero if you land all your shots in a few seconds. It has good range and is super accurate. Very powerful weapon. If you pick this one up, you're gonna wanna keep it. It's a good all-rounder type gun. The next one we're going to look at is the R99. This thing does 12 damage on a body shot. Not a lot. It does 18 damage on a headshot. So it doesn't double the damage on the headshot. But, once again, incredibly accurate and incredibly fast firing. So you will take out someone within one clip. If you land every single one of your shots, you will take someone out from full health and full armor in one clip. Now, if you miss a few shots, you might have to reload, but that's okay. Still a very powerful gun. Next one we're looking at is the Prowler. Does 14 damage on a bullet. It is a burst gun, so it fires a burst. Every shot lands, it's 70 damage. But if one shot lands, it's 14 damage. If one shot lands in the head, it's 21 damage. But it's very powerful up close. Not the best at range, because it does have a bit of a vertical spread and it's hard to fight that uh, accuracy issue there. So you want to get up close or medium range and just gun someone down. And you'll be doing close to 300 damage with just body shots if you land all your shots up close. So if someone's in your face, this thing will take them out in one clip. Our next gun is a pistol that I love. The Wingman. This thing does 45 damage on a body shot. 90 damage on a headshot. It is incredibly accurate. It has ridiculous range for a handgun. You can be picking off a spec in the distance with a handgun and there's no real damage drop. If you hit them, you're going to do 45 damage minimum. Headshot, 90 damage. At range as well. A ridiculous handgun that I love so much. Our next gun is the Devotion. 17 damage per shot, 34 damage per headshot. It starts to fire quicker the longer you're shooting. There is another gun, the Spitfire, that is similar to this, but it's not as accurate. The Devotion has accuracy, which means you're doing more damage. At a range, it's a bit of a struggle because it is, because it is, you know, an LMG, so it's a bit of a spread going on there. But medium range, they're dead. They're gone. You just keep that little dot on them and you will melt their health away in no time. Now our next gun we're going to get into is the G7 Scout Gun. This thing is the best all-rounder gun. It is ridiculously accurate from hip fire, it does 30 damage as a, a base damage, 60 damage for a headshot. It fires fast, it fires accurate at all distances. This thing, as a base gun, is an insane gun. I recommend it. If you want a fast firing gun that has good accuracy, can cover any situation grab the G7 Scout. If you pick this thing up, keep it. And our final gun 
Now, most of these guns are in just random order. The G7 Scout being the exception, because it's a nice all-rounder. This bad boy is the best. Straight up the best. Now, this is like a legendary gun. So the odds of getting this are super slim. But if you do, oh boy, you're probably gonna win. This thing does 144 damage to the body. 288 damage to the head. It has ridiculous spread. So you're pretty much gonna be picking up multiple people in a shot if they're nearby. It does fall off at a bit of a range, so it doesn't have great range, but if you can get up close to someone, they're dead. You'll be one-shotting people. If you hit them in the head, it doesn't matter how many shields they've got, how much health they have, they're dead in one headshot. If you hit them in the body and they haven't got level three armor, they're dead. It is so good, but it is very difficult to find. You're going to have to try and get this out of a supply drop. If you can find it, you're going to dominate if you can close that distance gap with other players. But you're not going to just have this gun. You're going to have one of the other guns, like the G7 Scout gun, maybe the Wingman as a nice sidearm to counter the lack of range that this gun has. But in a close range fight, an interior fight, oh boy. Goodbye, other players. Then after they've rage quit, you can be like, dude, it's my awesome Mastiff gun. Now that you know the best weapons in the game, according to me and my studies in training mode, you might be a PC player, I'm on consoles, you might be a PC player and you might be like, you know what, the crab is the best. If I get a crab or sniper rifle, pew, one shot, they gone. But me on console, me landing that shot is unlikely, but if you're on PC, you probably gonna want a sniper rifle or something powerful. They are powerful guns but they are slow firing guns. So your like damage per second is not going to match up with some of these guns. Like even the pistol wingman could probably out damage most of the sniper rifles. And it does distance. So these are the best guns in the game. According to me, some guy on the internet, but I recommend trying them if you pick them up.